welcome distinguished guests, faculty, and graduates to the spring and summer 2021 Ivy Tech Indianapolis virtual commencement. We are honored to be here to commemorate this very special moment with you and your loved ones. Thank you to everyone who helps support our graduates in realizing their dreams. Our students have been amazingly resilient during this pandemic. One day we were in class doing everything normal. The next thing we were completely shut down as a college. Some changes that I've noticed that the faculty has made is that a lot of them have reached out, making sure that we have everything we need. To graduate, we need people to encourage us. Sometimes we may have the strength to run a race, but when we don't see someone to encourage us, we may give up on the way. I will take up that. COVID or no COVID is something that I can think that uh, improved me to know more about technologies. The drive was within our students to continue their education and complete that credential so they could continue to move their life forward even in these difficult COVID times. They were having to find ways to be virtual and to be online. They had to seek out hotspots. I mean, I love the students who came and parked in the parking lot so they could access the Wi-Fi on their laptops. It was watching them think through the problem set and figure out how they were gonna come out the other end still with the education that they desired was amazing and inspiring to watch. I am extremely excited to put my studies to work wherever I decide to go in the criminal justice. I know there are so many jobs, so many opportunities, you know, the door is never closing for criminal justice. It keeps shaking on me. It's a good, I'm not nosy and I'm not shocking you, but I want you to succeed. I don't know, maybe it's still here. Mr. Scott, he was in second floor over there, so. That is what Ivy Tech have that other schools did not have. We learn every day. It's not about the age. You will see 60 years, 70 years old men, women, and you want to go learn anymore. Any day, every day. We learn from each other, you know? So that's what I believe there. Well, I think this generation is going to be much like the great generation. You know, in that adversity, um, we build a resiliency that um, many didn't have to have before and I think that will show itself well in their careers as every one of us who've been out there a while understand that there will be good days and bad days and challenging times at work and I believe those who've come through this year these times will will be shining in ways that maybe they didn't understand they had the grit to compete and be successful. And now, the Chancellor for Ivy Tech Indianapolis, Dr. Kathy Lee, will begin the ceremony by introducing Shedrick Whipple and the singing of the National Anthem. Please join us in the singing of the National Anthem.
Thank you, Dr. Whipple, who is one of our very own student service representatives. Welcome, everyone, to the Ivy Tech Community College Indianapolis Commencement Ceremony for our spring and summer 2021 graduates. I am Dr. Kathy Lee, the Chancellor for Ivy Tech Indianapolis. The program for this ceremony may be found at www.ivytech.edu forward slash indie graduation. This has been a year like no other, but you did not let it stop you from completing your goal, and now here we are to celebrate your college graduation. Congratulations, you made it. You, your family, and friends know how hard you have worked to get to this moment, and we are all so proud of you. Another person who is proud of you is the president of Ivy Tech Community College, Dr. Sue Elsberman, and she now has a few words she would like to share with you. Hello, I'm Sue Elsperman, president of Ivy Tech Community College. Smooth seas do not make skillful sailors is a wise African proverb. This past year has placed us on sea with huge waves and storms. None of us had been prepared for a pandemic. Few of us even paid attention in early 2020 when we heard the new term COVID-19, and yet it has humbled and taught us much. The great generation did not become great because of the year they were born, but because of the life they endured which made them the most resilient generation ever. Selfless, hardworking, humble, and industriousness. Graduates, you have the opportunity to be America's next great generation. You have succeeded during a time of adversity, great and small. Many of you have seen your own livelihoods or those of your family and friends on the brink. All of you have seen your day-to-day -day world close down, reconfigure, and transform into a much smaller virtual world. Your courses have turned virtual, your day-to-day -day work has been masked and socially distanced or in front of a screen working alone. Accountability has been significantly increased in quarantine, contract tracing, testing, and finally vaccinations. You have not gotten to share daily events with a wide range of friends and family. Milestone accomplishments have gone largely without celebration. This adversity, large and small, coupled with your resilience to move forward in the midst of a pandemic will define your future. You have shown a mark of greatness by persisting during a time of challenges. Your next mark must be earned with launching yourself into your future. I speak for all of Ivy Tech's faculty and staff when I say we are proud of you. We have done our part by creating the opportunity for you to learn grow in competency, and reach your goals towards a degree or certificate, recognizing it may very well be the first landing of many as you march up the steps of success. Enjoy today as you celebrate a chapter well executed, but no later than tomorrow, begin to craft where you will go next, how you will continue to grow, thrive, and contribute Ivy Tech will always be here for you, for your next credential, for your next skill up, for career coaching, for alumni engagement, for advisory boards, for partnerships. Graduates, I hope you will join me in thanking the Ivy Tech faculty and staff who have made your successful educational journey possible. While I believe they are the best in higher education. This year, they proved themselves to be exceptional as they also had to figure out how to teach and provide services in a mostly virtual world. While I cannot guarantee when COVID will be behind us, I can guarantee that the road ahead will have highs and lows, successes and learning experiences. Ivy Tech will always be here to help you 
take that next step forward or to skill up for your next career change. And finally, I want to ask that as you succeed in your career, family and life, to continue to also pay it forward to your community, to your church, to others. That could mean volunteering at a local food bank, serving as a church leader, or running for elected office. Indiana is a great state because of countless Hoosiers who go above and beyond to look out for the health and the well-being of others. Commencement is our favorite day at Ivy Tech. I sure hope it is for you too. We wish you well as you launch a new career or transfer up for your next level of education. We wish you much success and happiness. And we hope that you do big things that make a difference to your family, community, our state, and nation. Thank you, Dr. Elsberman, for sharing those thoughts with us. Each year, it is the job of the chancellor to select and introduce the keynote speaker for graduation. For the past eight years, I have happily done that. This year, I decided that I would be your keynote speaker. What was I thinking? I hated speech class in college. Well, I was thinking that this is my 37th graduation ceremony here at Ivy Tech. I have attended every graduation ceremony since I started teaching here a long time ago. I figured I have heard quite a few speeches over the years, and since this is my last graduation ceremony before I retire, I should go for it and do the speech. I am excited to do this, but honestly, this is not what I thought it would be. I never dreamed this ceremony would be a virtual one. This is not the commencement ceremony that I had hoped for. I doubt that this is the ceremony that you had hoped for either. But really, the type of ceremony doesn't matter. You're still graduating. You are part of the class of 2021. You are a college graduate. I hope you're watching this virtual graduation with friends and family to celebrate, but even if you're watching alone, I hope you will still celebrate. You have done something very special. You have completed your college goals, and you have done it in the strangest of worlds. Class of 2021, you have completed college in the middle of a global pandemic. During the past year, most of the world has paused or even stopped. Some of you may have lost loved ones. You may have had to overcome personal struggles, but you kept moving and did not let the past year stop you. So now is when the graduation speaker is supposed to share important lessons or advice with the graduates. But I realize there's not much I can tell you, class of 2021. Normally, graduates are told to go make a difference and be successful. You have already been doing that. You have continued to set an example of what success looks like. I am willing to bet that most of you have spent the last year multitasking working, taking care of family and friends, and going to college. I know that many of you were on the front lines doing essential work. Thank you for that. But it is also important to note that we all have a vital role to play. Please know that you are all essential to those around you. You make a difference and an impact every day. Graduates are also told to go forward with purpose. You have already started down that road when you came to Ivy Tech. You may be the first in your family to get a college degree. Well done. You may know exactly what you want to do next, or you may still be looking at options. 
either one is okay. Just keep moving in the direction that is right for you. You had a purpose. Get a college education. Check done. Now, set the next goal. Job, family, more school. You know what is right for you. My first real job was as a respiratory therapist, an associate degree prepared respiratory therapist. I loved it. It turned out not to be my only job or my only college degree. So please don't think your journey is done. You have only just started. Okay, you can celebrate today, but then back at it. Just keep moving with the same drive and purpose that got you here today. You are worthy and deserving of that journey. Believe in yourself, we do. So what wisdom can I share with you? My advice for you is based on what I have learned over the years at Ivy Tech. It is all about the people. Let me say that again. It is all about the people. Wherever you go, whatever you do, surround yourself with people who are as passionate about what they are doing as you are. Any job is better when the people you work with care about each other and the work. You are starting your careers. I am ending mine. I started as a respiratory therapist, came to Ivy Tech to teach, and then moved into administration. All of my roles have been challenging and rewarding, but what I will always remember are the wonderful individuals that I have worked with. Those who supported me on the bad days, kept me honest, made me laugh, and yes, made me cry. The students who challenged me drove me crazy and then made me so proud. The staff, the faculty, and the students, all of them made me love them. They made me respect them. And because of them, I love the work I was called to do here at Ivy Tech. I have been blessed beyond measure. So as you look for your best place, your best path forward, and look for, look for and surround yourself with people who believe in the real you and call you to be the best person you can be. Don't settle for less. So class of 2021, I wish you good fortune as you continue on your journey. Enjoy this moment, celebrate your achievement, and thank all of those who have supported you this far. And then get back to work building that future that you deserve. Thank you for letting me share these few moments with you. Thank you for choosing Ivy Tech to be part of your journey. Being part of Ivy Tech has been one of the best parts of my journey. And now, it's time to hear from those who helped you along the way. I would now like to turn it over to your dean to share a few words. Please welcome Dr. Rachel Kartz, Dean of the School of Arts, Sciences, and Education. Welcome, graduates of the School of Arts, Sciences, and Education. I am Rachel Kartz, and I have had the pleasure of serving as your school dean during a year full of challenges none of us could have ever imagined. And wow, you still did it. You persevered. On behalf of myself, the faculty and the staff, we congratulate you on reaching this milestone in your educational journey. Although we cannot shake hands or offer hugs, know that the faculty and staff are so proud of you. Whether you are entering the workforce or continuing your education, you will be our future. You are our future artists, educators, psychologists, researchers, and scientists. 
You are our future colleagues, our future leaders. We know that you will continue to make us proud. But this is not about us. Dr. Tarari Trent, an international advocate for quality education said, quote, you have the power within. It's not your past that's going to define who you are, but it's what you believe about yourself. What is it that you expect from yourself? As you embark on the next steps of your journey, remember Dr. Trent's words, and I know you will also make yourself proud. It is now my pleasure to introduce your fellow graduate and our student speaker, elementary education graduate, Katherine Ferguson. Please welcome Kat Ferguson, School of Arts, Sciences and Education student speaker. Thank you to the members of the faculty and the staff who support students in accomplishing their goals. From professors to office administrators to sanitation workers, the college would cease to exist without those dedicated to working within its halls. And thank you to the family members, friends, and confidants, and acquaintances who have come to celebrate such a distinguished occasion on behalf of the graduating class of 2021. B.B. King once said, the beautiful thing about learning is that no one can take it away from you. Throughout my own lengthy Ivy Tech journey, the lessons I've learned have impacted me severely, have not simply been in the classroom. Today, I'd like to share a few of them with everyone, whether they continue their own education or go straight into the work field. Number one, my chosen profession, teaching, like popular culture and technology, is a constantly changing field. As we have spent most of the last year and a half practicing COVID-based social distancing, many discussions have opened in the education field pertaining to the school from home shift. Should this class accessibility through Zoom and other applications be available to students who need it even after the pandemic? Have we encouraged outlandish standards for physical attendance at the risk of the safety and at times health of children? Should we continue to use many health standards and new safety practices that have been performed since the beginning of lockdown, such as the excess sanitation of public spaces? It is our job to the advantage of students and colleagues everywhere. If this new form of accessibility is the answer to helping those who are disabled, ill, falling behind, or just dealing with the insecurities of existing in modern society within the confines of our chosen professions, we should fight to continue its use. Number two, I've learned that teaching isn't always going to be fun for the teacher or every student, and that's okay. When I was younger, I wanted to be part of the field thanks to a select few of my own resilient teachers. These were the individuals who were patient, kind, and generally honest with the class, even in their moments of calm and collected frustration. I've experienced glimmers of that past thanks to many who work diligently behind the halls of Ivy Tech. Yet between all the good, as I said, there have been many moments of frustration, moments of tired, and moments of doubt. As we all embark on our own professional journeys, it's important to remember that our students and their peers have the same worries, reminding ourselves that it's okay to have off days, like when you can't give a speech, and that it's okay to struggle, it's okay to falter, and we demonstrate to those around us that they themselves are allowed to be the most important thing that they naturally are, human. Number three, I've learned that teaching is nothing without compassion, care, and attention to detail. The last several decades have been extremely tumultuous in history. Social issues once ignored are finally being heard with care, concern, and active change. We are a central part of ushering in that change as future graduates and leaders, it is crucial that we care about the conversations not only surrounding education, but reform within the institutions of the country that harm the disenfranchised. By continuously educating ourselves and inwardly reflecting how we as professionals perpetuate harmful practices or ideals while working to change them, as well as equipping our workplaces to be accessible safe spaces with diverse materials about all types of people and cultures, everyone becomes more empathetic and understanding. As a future educator, I firmly believe in being the change I want to see because children strive to be who and what they see. 
We should strive to be individuals who help them become well-adjusted and well-informed people. Jim Henson once said, kids don't remember what you try to teach them. They remember what you are. And I believe that sentiment applies to people of all ages. As we end our time at Ivy Tech together, I'd like to take one more opportunity to thank the faculty, the staff, and the families for your unending support. We wouldn't be here today without you. Most importantly, I'd like to thank the class of 2021. I hope each of you is able to fulfill the dreams you have and that you enrich the lives of each person you meet and that they enrich yours. Please remember these very wise words from Bill Nye the Science Guy. Everyone you ever meet will know something that you don't. Congratulations. And now, Dr. Rod Brown, Vice Chancellor of Academic Affairs for Ivy Tech Indianapolis. Thank you, Dr. Kartz and student speaker Kat Ferguson. I am Dr. Rod Brown, Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs for Ivy Tech Indianapolis. I'd like to take a moment to recognize the academic achievements of our students. Phi Theta Kappa is an international honor society for two-year colleges which recognizes and encourages academic achievement. Congratulations to those who have achieved this honor. We would now like to take an opportunity to recognize those students who have excelled in their studies as demonstrated by their grade point averages. Congratulations to those graduates who have achieved on a four point scale. Cum laude for those with a cumulative GPA of 3.5 to 3.7. Magna cum laude for those with a cumulative GPA of 3.8 to 3.9, summa cum laude for those with a cumulative GPA of 4.0. Congratulations, graduates, on your commendable work. It now gives me great pleasure to present the graduate candidates to the President and the Board of Trustees. These candidates have fulfilled the requirements for their respective degrees and certificates, either completely or conditionally, and are recommended by the faculty of Ivy Tech Community College, Indianapolis, for the conferring of their degrees. Conferring the degrees will be Dr. Kara Monroe, Provost and Senior Vice President. 
exercising the authority of the State Board of Trustees, legally vested by the people of Indiana through the General Assembly and the Governor, and delegated by the trustees to the President and her team, and recognizing your nomination by the faculty and with the approval of the administration for having successfully completed the prescribed courses of study, I now confer upon each of you the appropriate degrees and certificates with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereof. Congratulations, graduates. While we are not able to be in person because of COVID restrictions, many of our graduates participated in a grad walk event in early May to cross the stage. We will now share a video of your school's grad walk. At the end of the virtual ceremony, all graduates will be listed by their program. Associate of Science, Early Childhood Education, Crystal Jenkins. <laughs> Associate of Applied Science, Early Childhood Education, to beat the Lynn Coleman. <laughs> Laquisha Renee Callahan. Andrea Nicole Safranic. <laughs> Associate of Arts, Liberal Arts, Naomi Sharon San Andre. Associate of General Studies, Whitney Bledsoe. Associate of Science, Early Childhood Education, TSAP, Elizabeth Mina. Associate of General Studies, Trendy Caitlin Kale. Associate of Applied Science, Early Childhood Education, Marlene Birdsong. Associate of General Studies, Christian Dawn Rindle. Associate of General Studies, Jalisa Danielle Crockett. Associate of General Studies, Tiffany Funk. Associate of Science, Early Childhood Education, TSAP, Alicia Jean Gay. Associate of Arts, Yasmin Danielle Marito. Associate of General Studies, Krishana Hughley. Associate of Science, Early Childhood Education, Stephanie Gao.
Associate of Science, Psychology TSAT, Micaiah Alexis Sanders. Associate of Fine Arts, Sierra Nicole Hill. Associate of Science, Psychology, TSAP, Allison Grace Dill. Associate of Applied Science, Margaret Osmus. Associate of Science, Early Childhood Education, Adoroki Karim. Associate of Science, Early Childhood Education, TSAP, LaToya Brown. Associate of Science, Elema Elementary Education, TSAP, Bailey Elbarasi. Associate of Arts, Brianna Lene Allen. Associate of General Studies, Shakira Kalen Williams. Associate of General Studies, Desiree Douglas. Associate of Science, Psychology TSAP, Gold Taibu. Associate of Fine Arts, Eleanor Marie Green. Associate of General Studies, Victor Manley McDonald. Associate of Science, Psychology, TSAP, Alfred Stephen Moore. Associate of Science, Elementary Education, TSAP, Brianna Marie Sinclair. Associate of General Studies, Emily Deanne Meza. Associate of General Studies, Joshua Bradley Foster. Associate of Science, Elementary Education, TSAC, Paula Nicole Sanchez Diaz. Associate of Elementary Education, TSAP, Zoe Buckley. Associate of Science, Elementary Education, TSAP, Catherine Virginia Goolsby. Let's celebrate our graduates as we have more that are coming.
Associate of Arts, Janelle Deshay Chandler. Associate of Science, Liberal Arts, Beatrice and Dunsey. Associate of Science, Elementary Education, Kishona Weekly. Associate of Science, Early Childhood Education, TSAP, Maria Alina Calvillo Ortiz. Associate of General Studies, Chelsea Cummings. Associate of Science, Elementary Education, TSAP, Katherine Ferguson. Associate of Fine Arts, Kenan Tenen. Associate of Fine Arts, Garen Roby. Associate of Science, Biology, Gladi Mboko. Associate of General Studies, Ashley Marie Fitzpatrick. Associate of Arts, Nicole Bray. Please give a round of applause for our Ivy Tech 2021 graduates. Associate of Science, Elementary Education, TSAP, Teresa Castillo. We now have the Associate of General Studies, Aaron James LeMay. Please welcome Dr. John Cowles, Vice Chancellor of Student Success. Congratulations, graduates. My name is Dr. John Cowles, Vice Chancellor for Student Success at Ivy Tech Community College in Indianapolis. We've now reached the point you've all been waiting for, the turning of the tassel. The turning of the tassel symbolizes your transition from student to graduate. Graduates, you may now turn your tassel from right to left. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to virtually present to you the 2021 graduating class of Ivy Tech Community College. Congratulations, graduates.
Congratulations, Class of 2021. We are very proud of all that you've accomplished over this past year and so happy to see you at graduation. I hope you are enjoying this moment in your life and looking forward to what the future brings you. Congratulations. Congratulations. We are so proud of you, graduates. You have accomplished so much during these unprecedented times. Now go do some unprecedented celebrating. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. Yay! Congratulations, graduates. The Career Coaching and Employer Connections team congratulates our graduates. Congratulations. congratulations. Way to go, grads. We're proud to be a part of your journey and we hope this helps make your dreams come true. Thank you for your participation and congratulations. May the road rise to meet you on your journey. Congratulations. This concludes the Spring and Summer 2021 Virtual Commencement Ceremony. From all of us here at Ivy Tech, thank you for attending. Congratulations, graduates. Wait to see that. <laughs> Will I be able to put it on my Facebook page? <laughs>